the brooding menace of the troubles in Northern Ireland is still preserved on Belfast streets in murals like these found in the pro-British Unionist and Irish Republican heartlands. Muralist Danny Deveni is a former IRA prisoner. History is like a rear view mirror. You should always check back, but not too often. The murals are a reminder of the bloodshed the Good Friday Peace Accord sought to end 19 years ago. But new clouds on the horizon have led some to fear for its future. The deal creating the Northern Ireland Assembly here at Stormont essentially forces nationalists and unionists to govern together in a devolved parliament. But it collapsed in January, forcing new elections and creating political stalemate again. The main players, the Republican Sinn Féin and the pro-British Democratic Unionist Party, or DUP, have until tomorrow to agree a deal or face a return to rule by Westminster. At the moment, the indications are not particularly encouraging. The red line issues for Sinn Féin are still there, uh, particularly around their demand for uh, an Irish language act. Republicans are unhappy the DUP has agreed to prop up the British Prime Minister Theresa May's minority government in exchange for money for the region. I think that's kind of a, a stick that the British government and the DUP are trying to wield against Sinn Féin to try to force them into a deal. Sectarian lines have never really faded here. So-called peace walls still divide Protestants and Catholics. Do you want to make it serious now? Make it yes. And most schools remain segregated. Best friends AJ and Rachel breach the divide, but only through a cross-community project called Peace Players, teaching kids basketball. Like if I was to walk around my school uniform in a Protestant area, it wouldn't be, wouldn't end well. <laughs> so I think if we kind of make our own experiences and our own views, like it'll just completely fade away. For now, though, many parts of Belfast remain carefully delineated grids of suspicion and distrust symbols stronger to some than Northern Ireland's devolved government. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Belfast.